Two of the hottest apps right now, in my opinion, are Walmart Spark and Amazon Flex in this whole gig economy side hustle thing. But question for you, have you even heard of those apps? Why are they so popular? And should you add them in your side hustle arsenal? Good news. In this video, I'm bringing on my twin brother, Matt, who has not done either of those apps because chances are he has very similar questions. And myself, having done these apps here in different marketplaces, I want to help you out so you don't waste your time on some of these apps. Look, I mean, I talk to you all the time. Welcome, by the way. I talk to you all the time about these side hustle apps. So well, let me ask you first, what do you even consider? Because you have so much going on, folks. Drop a like if you appreciate Matt being here again on our two parts, our second video of a two-part series talking about the side hustle space with Matt. What do you even think about? when you consider adding on new side hustles because I know you're so busy. Yeah, so good for uh, good uh, happy to be here and look, I I want to ask questions that you might be asking yourself. So if you haven't heard of Walmart, Spark or Amazon Flex, then I'm going to be representing you. Someone who may not have signed up yet is somewhat interested, but I'm going to ask the hard questions. And basically, first of all, to answer Mike's point, what I think about when I think of a, a side hustle app is how do I make money on my own time? So my question number one that you might be thinking is number one, straight off the bat, which one do you think I can make more money in? Oh, that's a, I love <laughs> that question. Uh, cause look, no, no one cares folks. No one cares. I mean, like what's this, what, like wh which one, if I had to answer this question, well, let me just answer this question instead of skirting the issue here. Which one would pay you more? The bonuses on Walmart Spark, you're delivering general merchandise folks and or groceries for Walmart. The bonuses are decent. I don't like how multiple stops for different deliveries on customers. If you do two of those, three of those, seven of those, it all counts as one trip. And you gotta do like five trips for a bonus when it could actually be like, you know, 10 different customer drop-offs. I don't like that. Now, I did a recent shift. You can check the card linked above if you wanna see that shift. I didn't do that great. And my number one rule with Walmart is Walmart Spark is it depends how close you are to the Walmart. With Amazon Flex, if you want something that's, it's, I would say the most predictable side hustle app, it's Amazon Flex, because you sign up for a shift for guaranteed pay. It could be anywhere from like $18 to $22, $24, but it's more, it's, in my opinion, the most labor intensive of the main gig apps, because you're delivering packages for Amazon, you know, houses, yeah, but apartments, it's not super heavy, don't worry about it usually, you know, 30 pounds, whatever, but it's a lot of packages, it's it's kind of labor intensive, and you're locked in for like, you know, three to, to four hours there. Um, so what would you rather do? Would you rather go to a Walmart and deliver someone's groceries, let's say, or be tied down for three hours, but you're guaranteed, like, let's say like $22 an hour? Well, that's definitely going to vary from person to person. Um, I would say I would likely, I would try the Amazon first because I've done, I've done deliveries before with DoorDash and food delivery quite a lot. So I know what uh, delivering to a home would be like. I know it's pretty, uh, pretty quick. But I know from your experience that it can be obviously labor intensive. So you think that Amazon Flex will give you more predictable money? Absolutely. I think the pay on Spark, it's it's decent. It'll vary. I've seen, you know, like bad runs for like seven, eight bucks, good runs for like 20 plus dollars. But again, you gotta drive down there. If you're really close to a Spark, it makes more sense. But you always have to come back to the Walmart or Sam's Club to get your next order. Okay. So what's your next question about okay, either sure. Flex or, or Spark? Absolutely. So again, I'm hopefully asking some questions that you might be thinking here. So if I'm thinking, if I could sign up for one app, tell me in only one or two sentences, real short, what am I doing in each app? I know you kind of said, you said going back to the Walmart, are there multiple trips involved? Whose car am I taking on either app? I've seen Amazon vans driving around. Do I have to rent one of those? What, what's the whole deal there? Yeah, so those vans are official Amazon, I, I forget what it's called, DSP drivers. Uh, they might be employees, I'm pretty sure, um, but those are not flex drivers. Flex drivers will use your personal vehicle. Um, so both use your personal vehicle. If I had to sign up for one, wow. 
I would say, wow, it's so tricky because folks, you have to drive to the you know flex warehouse. I said you have to drive to a Walmart. Well, you still have to drive to a flex warehouse. How about this? Let's assume they were the same distance away. Like it's 15 minutes to a Walmart, but 15 minutes to the Amazon warehouse. Then which one would I sign up for? That is really tricky. If you want ease, I would say Walmart. If you want predictable, consistent pay, flex, because I like the fact that I can be done whenever on Spark because I do the delivery and then I'm done. But again, with Flex, you are not, if something comes up, technically you're not done until all of those packages are, are, are delivered for your three hour shift. Okay, so here's my next question. So how many deliveries am I doing on average with each app? Yeah, uh, for a three hour shift, you'll get like 40 packages on Spark. You'll get anywhere from like, you know, you pick up for one customer, but then I had some, I think it was yes, two days ago on my shift for Spark where it gave me like nine or 12 drop-offs. I didn't take it, but you know, you'll get, yeah, you'll get paid $30, but you have to drop off, you know, 12 customers. It, it, it's getting more similar there. Cause again, with, with Flex, like, yeah, you're going to deliver, you'll have 40 packages, maybe like 36 stops. Cause sometimes, you know, people have multiple packages. So so I would assume that there's no, so here's another question. So is there tipping on these apps? That's not a good question. On Flex, warehouse runs, no. It's it's literally, you sign up for an $18 an hour shift. That's what you get, $22, that's what you get. Uh, with Spark, yes, there's tipping. Now with Flex, if you do Whole Foods runs, cause you know, Amazon now owns Whole Foods, on those grocery runs, yes, you can get tips. I've never done those. I've heard they're very lucrative though. Okay, so here's, I'm gonna go way back. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning, all the way back to the beginning. So if you're watching this video and Mike entered the conversation saying that these are some of the two most hyped apps. Yeah. Why the heck are, why the heck are they so popular? And would you say these are more popular than food delivery, more popular than mm. ride share, like Uber and Lyft. Where do these stack up in popularity? It's a good question. Great question. Um, uh, well, firstly, folks, can you do us a favor? Can you drop a like on this video? I gotta say it. Hey, uh, best Amazon, well, best associates, oh my gosh, best accessories for your side hustle in our Amazon storefront down below. Check that out after this video. So, I think they're so hyped. Maybe because, because they're so new? Well, Spark is new to Pittsburgh. At least, you know, it's, it's newer to me. Flex, I mean, it's kind of new, I, I guess, because food delivery was like uh, more, it, it was first. It, it was before these it was apps. More mainstream. Food, food delivery. I feel like, because it's so different. It's so different than food delivery. Like, like, yeah, I don't, Grubhub is the same as DoorDash, the same as Uber. It's very, it's it's the same thing. It's food delivery. But like, what is this Amazon thing? It's like packages. And then what is Spark? So I'm, I'm like delivering Walmart stuff. So I think it's a little different in that sense. Okay, now good point. Any, any advice that you would give to somebody having driven both? If I'm a new user, is there something I need to know? Like in food delivery, there's a lot of tips that we tell you about how to protect yourself, yeah. how to take a picture to document that you made the drop off, give great customer service. Yep. Well, what are some tips that you give? Uh, let us know down below in the comments, folks. Uh, if you are considering either one of these or if it's like a no-go, let us know which ones, uh, if any, you're considering. If you're delivering for Amazon Flex, get the blue Amazon vest. When I first did this in San Diego, they just gave us like the yellow safety vest. <laughs> And it does not seem like a big issue at all, but I delivered at night because some of these shifts go from like five until eight, five until nine, uh, depending on time of year, it could definitely be night. Now I delivered with my yellow vest on and it just, it looks kind of shady when you're in a, your personal vehicle and you're in an unlabeled safety vest. Like, like what is this? I remember delivering to some homes where the recipient was either out on their porch or I, my most awkward was I arrived at the same time as the homeowner and you know, as a female driver, it was at night. I felt a little creepy that, you know, I was walking basically to her front door right behind her. And 
you know, if you ever do that, folks, just make it very clear, you know, from the instance. I say, hey, I'm an Amazon driver. I have a package for you. But if you don't have the vest, it looks sketchy. So, so do they track if you're, I'm sorry, but like on food delivery, I can see yes. that my driver, Matt, in this car is going yeah. to arrive. So is that the same kind of thing or? Yeah, Amazon has map tracking. Okay. You know, if you've ever used that, folks, you can usually track the van. I have had Flex customers said, like they were tracking me or they expected me. So I believe they are map tracking flex drivers. Let us know down below in the comments if that's true. But but I did have customers say that. But anyway, ask your warehouse for an Amazon vest. If they give you the yellow vest, say like, hey, do you guys have any of the Amazon vests? And here's what I did, folks. If, if they don't have any, because that's what happened in San Diego, they were out of stock, you get one on eBay. That's what I did. I just bought one on eBay because it looks so much more credible when you have an actual Amazon vest because, again, you're using your personal vehicle there. Um, I'm forgetting your initial question. We kind uh, of went off tips, there. Any tips for yeah, I mean, anything for, Walt, uh, for a Spark? Yeah, have, have your vehicle completely empty. I mean, especially for Flex. You have all these packages. You better have almost nothing in your trunk. Don't, don't. You're going to have a lot of packages. Um, with If you're going to do Walmart Spark, you might actually want to have a, a large Tupperware bin, you know, like a, like a four foot long bin to put the groceries in. So then you just have to carry the bin to the home versus, you know, managing all these bags. Um, we have a catering bag in our Amazon storefront. It's linked down below. That's nice because it's like double duty. So if there are any hot and cold items, uh, you can use it for flex because again, groceries and or food delivery, that's good as well. That's fantastic. Well, I'm not sure which one I'm going to sign up for, but, <laughs> but those are some really good tips. Um, any final thoughts on either app? Yeah, I mean, flex folks, uh, the later you sign up for a shift, and the closer it is to the start time, usually that's when the bonus pay is. So you can get more, you know, that the $20, $24 an hour on that shift. Um, with, with Walmart Spark, I've only done a few shifts. I'm not a huge fan of the miles. If you live, like for me, 30 minutes away from a Walmart, I, I basically, you know, do it for you to get your experience in the, in the content that you probably can make better money elsewhere than driving 30 minutes and 30 minutes back. And then you have the runs where you have to come back to the Walmart location. Uh, so consider that. Awesome. Well, that's really good content. Um, really good advice. Really good uh, stories there. Uh, appreciate the questions. Appreciate you being here again. And folks, if you have any questions of your own about uh, Walmart Spark, Amazon Flex, or any upcoming apps, that's that's really interesting. We're always looking for the, the next hottest opportunity into 2023 and beyond. Uh, definitely let us know down below in the comments and do drop a like if you got value uh, from Matt being here today. If you want to see more of him on the channel, definitely let us know. And uh, leaving a like on this video does show that you get value. It really does help out the channel tremendously. And you can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.